Structuring the Literature Review. This presentation will discuss the components of the literature review and different approaches to structure a literature review. Like any other academic text, your literature review should have an introduction, a main body, and a conclusion. The introduction gives the reader a quick idea of the topic, the central theme, or organizational pattern of the review. It should also include an overview of the subject, issue, or theory under consideration, along with the objectives of the literature review. The body contains your discussion of sources, including a literature evaluation, which determines which literature makes a significant contribution to the understanding of the topic, an analysis and interpretation, which discusses the findings and conclusions of the pertinent literature. It also may include a division of works under review into different categories, those in support of a position, those against, and those offering alternative theses entirely. A literature review also includes within the body an explanation how each work is similar and how it varies from the others. The last part of a literature review is the conclusions or recommendations. It discusses what you have drawn from reviewing the literature so far and articulates which direction the discussion may proceed. Literature reviews can be organized using several approaches. Once you've decided on your approach, the sections you will need to include in your review should arise out of your organizational strategy. It is recommended that you have a rough idea of which strategy you're going to use before writing. Some of the organizational approaches that we're going to discuss are chronological, advancements, thematic, questions approach, methodological, and theoretical. The chronological approach is the simplest and most popular approach. The chronological approach traces the development of the topic over time. It analyzes patterns, turning points, and key debates that have shaped the direction of the field. Your review should give your interpretation of how and why certain developments occurred. The chronological literature review can move forward or backward in time. If you choose this strategy, be careful to avoid simply listing and summarizing sources in order by date of publication. The advancements approach. Similar to a chronological approach, the advancements approach starts with the first breakthrough or publication on a topic, then goes on to discuss advancements in the field and concludes with the present situation. The thematic approach. Thematic reviews of the literature are organized around a topic or issue rather than the progression of time. If you have identified some recurring central themes, you can organize your literature review into subsections that address different aspects of the topic. The questions approach. Similar to the thematic approach, the questions approach outlines and discusses major questions related to a topic. These questions are addressed in order through the literature review. The methodological report approach. A literature review does not always focus on findings, but instead may focus on the method of analyses. The methods of the researcher are discussed and sources may be drawn from different disciplines that use a variety of research methods. Ways to use the methodological approach include discussing results that have merged in quantitative versus qualitative research, or discussing how the topic, topic has been approached by empirical versus theoretical scholarship. The theoretical approach. A literature review is often the foundation for a theoretical framework. It can be used to discuss various theories, models, and definitions of key concepts. Theoretical literature reviews play an instrumental role in establishing what theories already exist, the relationships between them, and to what degree the existing theories have been investigated and to develop new hypotheses to be tested. Organizing the review. Once you have determined which approach you will utilize, the next step will be to identify the various sections that are needed for your review. 
For example, a chronological review would have sections for each vital time period, while a thematic review would have subtopics based on the factors that relate to the theme or the issue.